Do you have any sugar maples incorporated into your system? We do, actually. Uh, when we got to this farm, there weren't enough sugar maples that were large enough to tap according to what we were taught and told. Um, and so I haven't uh, included it as an uh, active enterprise, but because I wanted my kids to grow up with sugar maples as part of their culture, uh, we've always tapped anywhere between 15 and 30 sugar maples uh, on the farm just for home use. And we use so little sugars uh, that uh, we can tap sugar maples one year and, and all the syrup. We can have three or four gallons of maple syrup. That'll last us a couple of years. And so, uh, you know, these past few years, we've only been tapping every, every other year or so. But we do have sugar maples as part of, the tr uh, of the, our enterprise mix. And we use it as a trade item, as a gift item. Uh, Christmas gifts and birthday gifts and that sort of thing. We just don't use a lot of it. And so if you live in an area that, that uh, is good for growing sugar maple, absolutely. What an incredible resource. The, the difference with sugar maple is that it is more of a closed canopy. It's a shade tolerant um, in tree. And so uh, those systems aren't more as conducive for animal agriculture underneath. You want a closed canopy, stick with shade tolerance, um, medicinal herbs, uh, mushrooms, culinary mushrooms, medicinal mushrooms, ornamental, shade tolerance, that sort of thing. The maples are more part of a closed canopy, late successional phase um, agroforestry type system, permaculture, restoration agriculture system.